Many of you have left me a comment about what do you do with the curved nails, that natural arch? Well, I was in the salon the other day and Chelsea comes running out to me and goes, look! We can fix this. It's all in the details. I've always wanted to address this, but I didn't have a client that had really hooking, and it's right in my salon. Chelsea is my number one lead tech, and she has hooked nails. I'm gonna show you how we can correct that in a couple of ways. Let's get started. Little did I know you had such a gold mine at the end of your fingernails <laughs> with this incredible hook. Hi, Chelsea. Welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> so I'm so excited that you do have this very natural curve. So how do we get that right out of the gate? How it happens is as we keep filling these natural nails as natural nails grow, because when we put the enhancements on top, whatever the enhancement is of the natural nail, they grow out together. And the natural nail will grow just as it wants, right? It'll yeah. just grow the way it naturally will grow. And yours in particular, and those people experiencing a very hooked nail, they may not notice it at first, but after two or three months, it starts to grow. The natural nail starts hooking downward. And yours, this index and your pinky is incredibly hooked. Yeah. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> That's I don't why. Like it. No, you don't. Which back in the 80s and 90s, the clients loved it. You got a natural hook, a natural curve. They loved it. But this is extreme. This is really strong. It's, it's like really curly hair. Control. Yeah. Some people might still find this beautiful. Um, so I don't want to put it down because it can actually still be attractive. But the new kind of look nowadays is having the nail more straight out. So when she showed this to me, I was so excited. She was really upset because she has it and she's correcting it. And I was like, no, leave it. And I was so excited because I can have her on and show you how to correct that. It's actually really simple. We're going to do the two here because they're actually both very strongly curved. So with the nail being so strongly curved like that, any little bang in this direction can certainly split it across the stress. So two ways to fix it. We're going to get to that right away. We are going to completely remove the nail. That's what you kind of have to do every, how long do you think it took to get like this? If your nails grow fast, three, four months? Probably about that. Yeah. So that's what happens. In about three to six months, it starts to get a real strong curve. And what you need to do is take the nail off completely. That's one way to do it. I'm going to show you two ways to fix it. And I'll you can do this. It. Yes. I'll miss this guy. <laughs> yes, you're so- We didn't even name it. No, him. we didn't name it. Oh my goodness. That's what Chelsea and I do. <laughs> Every time we get a giant zit, we name our zit. I think mine was Henry last time. Henry, yeah. Yeah. Miss Henry. Yeah, Miss Henry. <laughs> but we didn't name this guy. You have to think of a name. Okay, these are a little too strong. I need to be really close. Like, really close. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take off the gel first. Take off the gel polish. So we have two naked nails and at this point I'm going to show you how to do one completely with a form and the other one without. So in this case I think Chelsea I'm going to take down this one completely. So you can see how curved that is, right? But because the natural nail is all the way down in there you have to remove the thing completely so you can start all over again. It's all in the form application where you position the form so you want to go back to the free edge as much as possible and then of course as you're shortening it's becoming thicker we're going to take down that whole arch because we want to rebuild it and we want to make it straighter. Now this guy, we're going to leave like this. I am going to just prep it, just take down the arch here a little bit. I 
I'm just going around the cuticle just to get rid of some of the uh, gel. So those of you who don't know, I just recently put out my brand new first brush and file kit. I'm super proud of this. I put a lot of energy and thought and only got the best of the best. This is one of the files that I'm using. And with that, I am just smoothing the natural nail, just so it's not jagged under there because you don't want to leave any type of irritating little free edge that a client might find to pick at. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. We're actually gonna fix this without taking it off. Need something different. Okay, so here's where the correction part happens. I'm just gonna get rid of all the dust. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with acrylic. So I'm just gonna get my acrylic ready. So the whole correction part of this is really, it's in the form. That's where it starts and, and really ends. I could recreate the hook look, and I've done that for clients in the past who did like it. I could recreate that in just the placement of the form, but in this particular case, the new trend is a little bit more straighter, actually a lot of it more straighter. That is a word, I'm using it as a word. <laughs> I'd use it. Yes. <laughs> so on that note, when I place my form in the old days, if I was to recreate that, let's say if the client had all the nails that were slightly curved and she broke one, I would recreate this by holding the form down at this particular angle to recreate that arch. But nowadays, we don't like it as much. So we're going to bring this form much, much more straight. Now again, I would check with the client to make sure that they actually like the straighter nail. I have to be honest, when I was first doing the straighter nail, I didn't really like it. Did you like it right away? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's too straight, it doesn't really look natural to me. So I like a bit of an arch, but if it's really archy, I don't really like that either. Like that was way too archy for okay. our taste. We don't really like that. So the other ones here are slightly curving, but that's much more of a natural curve. We like those, but this was crazy. But if you have a person coming in and has 10 nails and they want one is curving down super strong and they break it, you kind of want to have a slight arch to match all the others, unless you're going to take them all up again and then straighten all of them. If they like that, they may really want the curve. So this one, you can see the form is quite a bit straighter. So it's all in the form and the placement. Inside my new kit is my brand new brush. Love my new brush. That's amazing. You like it? Yeah, your files. I've you like the files? I've had a lot of files in my life. And these ones are amazing. Oh, that's so good. And I did not pay you to say that. No, she did not. <laughs> I and was, I request to have them in the salon. <laughs> yeah, no, I was really I was really happy to hear that because you really get a hold of your favorite files. And we had them before I developed these. And then when I brought them in, I didn't say anything to the girls. I just said, here, just use these. And because I'm not there all the time, um, they weren't having to like even lie. But then I came in a few months later and you just nabbed me and said, oh, your files, I love them, which really made me feel good because I didn't encourage you to say that. You just, which I, I think them. is great. That's really good to hear. Well, I, I really, when I did them, I made it with a really high quality paper. There was a choice to have like not as high quality. And when I did it with a really high quality, it makes them last so long. And when you're shaping and you're trying to take away product, it's really important to have a strong file that lasts. So this is a oval eight brush. I love it because it does every shape of size of nail and it is 100% Kalinsky. So it's a very high quality and it doesn't get um, chemical. It's chemical resistant. Oh, yeah. You I probably didn't, didn't know even that. know that. I didn't. No. Nope. Because I'm used to only putting the brush in just a little. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Because if there's any wood, it'll just, the monomer and stuff will just eat it up. But this is chemical resistant and it's got a cap, which I love. So we're going to build this nail so it's much, much straighter. It's still going to be in harmony with the other ones because she does have a slight curve and you kind of want to remember that. Okay, so we're just going to quickly build this nail. You can even see when we're building this, this is coming off so much straighter. I'm excited to see the before and after. <laughs> I know, we're really gonna see the difference. Right? 
Now, do you get many of these? I think I asked you that, but do you get them too often or people just don't even notice? Some people don't even notice and no. then certain clients are pretty particular about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So they'll they'll say something to me at their appointment, yeah. but not very often. No, and over the years I found it's not generally all fingers. It's I find just a few of the fingers. Usually yes. the index is the most curvy. Definitely. If you're not breaking your, your index, which yeah. is usually the first one to go if you do, yes. mm -hmm. I find that it just keeps growing and growing and your yeah. natural nail will just keep doing that. Well, in all fairness, if our natural nails grow, or even with the acrylic on top or gel, if they grow, if we never shortened them, they would all twist and curve like that. They just have a natural, like curly hair. Like it's all of our nails would just kind of twist a little bit. That's why... If you are getting nails done on a regular basis, you'll sometimes notice, even if they're shorter, like it's separating and you think it's separating. Actually, your natural nail is the one that's separating. The acrylic or the gel isn't separating. It's actually the natural nail is separating. It's actually starting to curve a little bit and that's where it begins. But in this case, this is an actual, it's actually curving down. Sometimes if you see those really long nails that people grow for a very long period of time, like no. in the Guinness World Book yeah. of Records, yeah, they'll <laughs> literally grow down like that and then start turning and twisting and like a tree. Okay, so there's nothing um, nothing that I have to do to build this out any differently than if I'm normally building a nail. Again, it really is in the form placement. But I'm just gonna build this out nicely. And then we're gonna go to the pinking. All you have to do, this sounds kind of weird. I think it's probably even more work than if you just probably shortened it right off. But you can do this. I'm going to use this nail that's already on there as if it's like a form. So I'm going to start building it from the arch. And I'm just going to build out quite a thick nail. So you can see that it's super, super thick, right? And it's still arching down a bit. That's a natural flow for it. But I'm gonna keep adding. This is a bit of a drier bead, so you can actually mold it. See that? See how it's just staying there? It's actually staying in the shape. I'm just gonna keep building it out on the end. So then I get this look of coming straight off. That looks so funny. <laughs> Can we Doesn't that look horrible? <laughs> <laughs> Halloween nail. Yeah, I think it's actually honestly easier just to whip the whole thing off the end. But I have done this on occasion because especially if it's just a slight curve, you can actually just build it up on the end and then you just take away what's underneath and you can actually fix it pretty. I've done that with the clients and they didn't even know I was doing it. Okay, so look at that. That big fat nail on the end. See, it's still curving down kind of far, so I'm gonna to have to build it up a little bit further. This is what sculpting's all about. There's a nail in there. In that block of cement, you can shape a nail out of it. As long as you can shape it. Yeah. I haven't been in this room in so long. When was the last time you were in here? Probably. Because I've never had you on the video yet. It's no. the first time. When I took the course. Oh. Five years ago. Holy cow, Chels. I know. Wow. Susie taught me everything I know. That's right. 
you first were a model for one of my other students. That's yes. how you learned about me, and then you definitely. Wow! So we go back five years at least, right? We do. That's right. So Chelsea took the course, and then it was just was it a, just a few months, six months, eight months later? About that. Yeah. You took the course with my cousin. Yeah. Then I opened up my salon. And then you came on board and you started the whole pedicure section. I wasn't going to do pedis, but you insisted. And we didn't really know each other that well. And I just, she was so into it. And I just, oh, yeah, you go do it. You take it over. <laughs> and you did. And uh, now you're the main tech in the shop. Now, I remember you telling, this is good, actually, information, because there was a point where Chelsea was like so fresh with the nails. You told me that you were actually thought about giving it up. Yeah. Are you glad you didn't? Because now you're the oh my gosh. full-time number one tech. This is my favorite thing ever it in the world. It is fun, isn't it? It's a job, and it's also a hobby, and yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. I know. I love it. It's so creative. I just love it. And even if I wasn't doing it, like, as a job, I think I would do it as a hobby. Exactly. It and doesn't feel fun. like work. No, it doesn't, does it? Because you're going to the shop and you're seeing your friends who are your clients, right? Yeah. It's like catching up and yeah. having coffee. How long did you think it took you to build a clientele? Um, well, when I first came in, in the salon, I wasn't doing nails. I was doing nope. all the other... Petties, waxing. Yeah. I was so nervous about it. And I think you just were like, no, you're taking a client. Threw me in there. And after that, yeah. I just kind of went from there. Yeah. And uh, I would say probably a good year and a bit, maybe Took a little bit a year longer. and a bit, yeah. 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 To get really comfortable when you can take clients full-time, whipping them off. Exactly. In and out, yeah. yeah One hour gaps. That's fabulous. And Chelsea's a mom. She has a little girl. Um, Blakely is, what, six now? She's five and a half. Five and a half. Just started kindergarten. She is so adorable. She comes to the shop and she calls the salon. Pretties. <laughs> Can we go to Pretties? How did that start? Can we see Susie? Because <laughs> um, when she was so little, like she didn't know what a salon nope. was. a salon. So I just said, where well, you go and get your nails pretty. Right. So she just called it pretty. Pretties. And she still does. That's too cute. Okay. So now we have one normal looking nail and this disgusting thing that we are actually <laughs> going to transform that into a nail. And the reason why I did that was just you can just add a little bit on the end and then you take up the underneath and you can reposition that whole thing without doing it with the form. Okay. So one great thing I supply with my brush is a cap. It keeps the bristles very soft for every appointment that you have. Also, I want you to know if you take care of this brush, it will last you for years. Already. So now we are going to shape these up and take them from that strong curve to a nice, even, natural, straighter nail. Okay, now we're going to polish these up and let's check out the reveals and see the difference between the arch and the straighter nail. So you can see the difference in those photos between the before and after. And again, this is a style. This is a look. A lot of people like the curving down. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that some people are liking more of the straight. I'm just trying to show you a way that you can correct it. That looks great. I love it. Do you like that better? I love it. What do you prefer? The curvy? No, I like the straight. You like the straight? Yeah. Yeah. It looks really good. I'm dying actually to get my hands on to do all of them. I think I'd like to do them all from scratch. But I'd like to do the apex back near your cuticle. I think that would suit you very well. But that's a whole other video. Thanks for joining me, Chelsea. I really appreciate it. Thank I finally you so got you much. on my channel. For having me. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey.